share her wisdom with us on commitment and excellence in teaching teaching profession which is the noblest profession we would like to welcome all of you to this program and today's program is an enriching experience a brilliant resource person is joining us jm thomas map okay dear friends it would be a great joy if you share the poster and the link and the the poster and the link to your students colleagues friends and family because the wisdom that you are going to get today is unfathomable it cannot be measured you are going to gain a lot there is plenty of take plenty of take home today and i dr joju john the research coordinator has got great joy to in, to introduce today's program and the resource person and this program is organized by the research scholars of mar theophilos training college and now why don't you share the poster and the link to your colleagues and friends uh, they would benefit for sure thank you thank you very much everyone warm welcome jm tom uh, jm thomas ma'am and the platform is yours research scholars kindly begin the program thank you sir am i audible yeah yes thank you sir thank you so much a very good afternoon to everyone present here so small cheer and great welcome makes a merry feast yes today we are going to have a merry feast in this evening i extend a warm and hearty welcome all to the 43rd section of insight in depth invited talk hosted by the research wing of marty of less training college myself priya research college marty of less training college nalanchra let's evoke the blessing of almighty with a prayer before we start our program please pause for a while so just we have a prayer so ും സ്നേഹവും ജ്ഞാനവും ശക്തിയും ഒത്തുവിളങ്ങിയിടും തമ്പുരാതി ഞങ്ങൾ കണ്ണുള്ളിലെ അന്ധത നീക്കുവാൻ അങ്ങു വെളിച്ചം ചൊരിഞ്ഞിടേണം നേരായ മാർഗത്തിലൂടെ ചരിക്കുവാൻ ഭീമാന പാത്രങ്ങള തീരുവാനങ്ങളെ കാത്തിടേണം നന്മയിലേക്കു നയിക്കനെ ഞങ്ങളെ ചിന്മയ തൃപ്പദം കൂപ്പിടുന്നേ ജ്ഞാനവും ശക്തിയും ഒത്തുവിളങ്ങിടും താങ്ക് യു സനല സോ ബിഫോർ വി സ്റ്റാർട്ട് അവർ program a humble request for all our participants please mute your audio and video unless you are asked to unmute to avoid further distractions and also for the smooth conduct of the meeting your queries can be placed in the chat box and towards the end of the meeting the resource person will clear your doubts and feedback hello, form hello, yes Priya. yes hello, yes Priya, one second uh, yes. dear participants you can keep the video on that's fine only audio kindly mute okay thank you carry on priya okay thank you very okay much. okay 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 feedback form uh, will be provided and and those who as those who submit the for feedback form will be will receive the certificate and uh, you can also view the video uploaded version of this webinar uh, in the mttc official channel and uh, link will be provided in the whatsapp group and also um, so kindly follow the instructions for the smooth conduct of this program and uh, may i invite deepa as research scholar to deliver the welcome speech so over to you deepa thank you priya priya is it audible yes yes sure it is audible <coughs> okay thank you okay good evening one and all i am deepa research scholar marty flesh training college let me first of all thank almighty for this wonderful opportunity it's my delight to welcome each one of you to this great occasion 
at the very outset let me welcome our principal dr k y benedict sir who is the backbone of our institution the initiative and the inspiration given by the respected sir is what mm -hmm. keep us going welcome you sir on behalf of everyone present here now i would like to welcome today's resource person mrs dm thomas life skill trainer for eliciting a talk on excellence in teaching welcome you ma'am on behalf of everyone uh, present here now let me welcome our research coordinator dr joju jones sir who is our guide and motivator his presence is always a positive energy for us i welcome you sir on behalf of everyone present here now i would like to welcome all research guides teachers mrd and bed students and all research scholars from marty fles training college and other colleges to the program thank you all have a nice day thank you deepa thank you so our topic for today as high today for today is highly significant and relevant that is excellence in teaching which is being delivered by an eminent personality mrs jane thomas life skill trainer she is a life skill trainer too to know more about our resource person i would like to invite tara to introduce our guest please tara over to you thank you priya am i audible yes yes sure you are audible good evening all let me share the pleasure of introducing our today's person resource person our guest of honor mrs j m thomas a successful educator Ma'am has served as principal at Saint Thomas School, Faridabad, Your Shakti Model School, New Delhi. She has celebrated the post of Academic Director, Labor India Public School and Junior College. Ma'am has conducted various seminars and workshops on different genres of education. Ma'am has an array of achievements, and to showcase some, an awardee of Dr. Radha Krishnan Memorial National Award, Best Teachers Award in 2003. the best citizen of india award 2008 a veteran educationalist a skill trainer and an eminent educational administrator we are very delighted to have you on this 43rd session of insight in depth thank you ma'am for sparing your time with us a warm welcome to you ma'am thank you over thank to you priya thank you tara thank you so much uh, now mrs thomas ma'am the platform is yours kindly begin ma'am okay thank you i'm sorry i don't know i'm not getting the video connected maybe because no, of no problem ma'am no problem carry on very good evening dr k y benedict the principal dr joju john the research coordinator and all the delegates <clears throat> attending this session from all the parts of india and the world we all know <clears throat> the teaching profession plays an important role in nation building the influence of a teacher can never be erased do you agree with me <laughs> yes ma'am it is not me it is each one of you going to make this session a memorable one though we cannot see each other maybe god may help us to see each other otherwise <clears throat> let us interact i would like each one of you to interact to make this session an interesting one so that let it be a memorable event okay as yes, is to chant the tv or, yes. or or read the newspaper what do we see as headlines other than covid you may use the chat box when we switch on the tv or read the newspaper these days what are the highlight headings 
in the news other than COVID? Could you kindly respond? You may use the chat box. Yes, crime. That's right. <clears throat> we hear recently in the last week, we saw the news. In the news, we saw an youngster. Yes, very good. An youngster killing a girl. They came for examination and the boy becomes so cruel and he's killing the girl, isn't it? Like that, we, uh, we can see so many uh, news that the father killing the child, son, or maybe son, the father, the mother killing the newborn babies, and so on. So, have you ever thought why? why such incident happens and this boy he said he never wanted to kill the girl accidentally it happened why it is so who is responsible could you respond is the parent or the teacher or the public what do you think Yes, exactly, exactly, everyone, society. Yes, I can see so many comments. Yes, everyone, very good. Of course, the parents, to a certain extent, the parent has a role, but the major role is with the teacher. Isn't it? Do you agree with me? This reminds me the story of four people. Everybody, somebody, anybody, and nobody. Somebody wanted to do an important job and somebody told everybody to do that important job Everybody thought that somebody would do it. Nobody did it when anybody could have done it. What do you think? What is the insight you get from this story? What is the insight you get from this story? <clears throat> Very good. Yes. Lethargy. Exactly. Yes, 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 yes. That means the teacher will think that the parents have to mold the children. It is the responsibility of the parent. And the parent will think it is the responsibility of the teacher, isn't it? I hope you agree with me. So here, one give the response, thinking that other will do, but nothing is done. So it is not working. We see, now I want all of you to go back to your childhood. I'm sorry, I know you all are competent educationists, in the, and uh, taking care of different areas in uh, education field. But let us go back to our childhood. Okay. And if when a parent gets an admission in a school, what does the parent do? The parent will take the child and hand over to the teacher in charge of that school, isn't it? So here, the child is handed over to the teacher in charge 
and the teacher is taking the child towards the classroom. Then the child looks up, up to the teacher and the child appeals. You hold my hand. You hold my hand. I am a child. <clears throat> I don't know when I have come, how I have come, and why I have come to this world. It is you to tell me whether I am going to be a blessing or a curse to the society. My destiny hangs in your hand. Do you agree with me? You can? Yes, I would like to. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the destiny of a child lies hanged in the hand of a teacher. So, again, we, we, we can compare with, see, an auctioner auctioning his old clothes, old things. And there is one old violin kept aside him and the auctioner picks up that violin and he is auctioning it. So people look at the violin and they don't find it that valuable. They turn back and go away. An old, an old man picks up the violin and he cleans it, he touches it, he cleans it, and he plays in a melodious voice. <clears throat> and those people who went back without looking at even having no intention of buying because they didn't find it that good, isn't it? So those have gone, turned back and gone, hearing the melodious voice, they all come back. And now the violin becomes of more demand. And the auctioner auctioning it again and he says one pound, two pound, and the value goes up. What happened here? What, what made the difference in the violin? Can you tell me? You may use the chat box. What different? How? What, what made the difference? Yes. Monique. Monique Kunyupalli has raised the... Yes, please. Touch of a person who knows the word. Exactly. Very good. So, very good. Optioner turned the violin melody. Good. So here, it is the touch of the master. That made the difference in the violin and made the violin more valuable. Mm -hmm. isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. The master touch, the touch of the master. Very good. And thank you so much for sharing your views. <clears throat> so here we find the touch of the master made the difference in the violin. The same way, do you think it is the touch, the personal touch of a teacher? That should make a difference in the all round development, in a child, in its all round development, isn't it? Do you think so, if you agree with me? Now, shall we go to the slide? Slide, please. Yes. Today our focus is on 
excellence in teaching that is how to become an excellent teacher a memorable teacher or an ideal teacher who can you hear me yes ma'am yeah a memorable teacher who is the mold and model a teacher who is the mold and model in which and according to which she should carve cast and construct the personality of a child the teacher who is the mold and model in which and according to which she is going to carve cast and construct the personality of the child i hope you all agree with me now if you can make a change in a child when can you make a, ch a change in a child when does the teacher become a memorable teacher before that let us see what is excellent excellence is never an accident it is always the result of high intention slide please so a true a truly great teacher is hard to find that is true difficult and uh, such a teacher for the children it is difficult to part with such a teacher isn't it and for children it becomes really impossible to forget such a teacher now when you think about excellence in teaching we should know what is excellent excellence is never an accident it is always the result of high intention sincere effort and intelligent execution it represents the wise choice of many alternatives choice not a chance determines your destiny next now can you think of a memorable teacher if you can think of a memorable teacher see in our life we remember a particular teacher sometimes we may not also isn't it so if you remember a teacher why what made you to remember that teacher what, or or can you tell me one good quality the quality that made you to keep her even today in your heart yes wonderful joju joseph teacher at my level unbiased good she was empathetic empathetic good very good i can remember i can remember my maths teacher it is my maths very good there so many very unconditional support yes very good thank you thank you all i i remember my maths teacher because she is the one who instilled the mathematics skill in me she is the one who motivated me to become a teacher the way she explains in the class the way she loves the way she pay attention and her knowledge in the subject was she was thorough with the subject any doubt you ask then and there she and she never used to scold she never used to shout yes again i myself is an example because 
when i was when i left st savior school delhi and joined as the principal of st thomas school delhi i didn't tell my students or my colleagues because we had a very cordial uh, relationship i knew my students will be unhappy if i tell them my colleagues will be unhappy if i tell them so i went without telling them i went and joined st thomas school delhi and within one week everybody came to know that mrs thomas has left the school she resigned and went so i got a phone call from the principal saying so many principals have come and gone so many vice principals have come and gone even the teachers but this is the first time i hear the whole school want you back <laughs> the students came and told me that we want mrs thomas back so i said i'm sorry now it is too late i have already joined the school uh then he said okay then at least come one day whenever you are free i went i made every settled everything in school and i went one day my god you won't believe i myself couldn't believe they were so excited the children the students of 11th and 12th coming to the mic and telling here is one teacher here is one teacher who never scolded who never shout he never show who never shout was cold but her one stare was enough for us to understand what she wants i said i cannot digest even the teachers my colleagues when i reached the staff room they told me that we were very formal we had to learn a lot from mrs thomas i don't know so what i mean is if we are sincere and if we do our job i always tell my teachers also if you do a job as a teacher understanding that it is god who kept you in that place it's god decision so if you do each and every work as if we are doing for god the reward will come one day so and you will be really memorable okay next please when does a teacher become a competent innovative teacher when if she has a dignified personality when i say dignified personality or dignified look that doesn't mean that she is she should be or he should be he should be she should be extraordinary good looking sweet looking or he should be extraordinary smart no mistaken it's not the look it is not the appearance it is the the character as a teacher if the dignified personality means it is the character the personality it is not the outward appearance sometimes a very good looking teacher he or she may not be recognized by the student sometimes they become snobbish they don't uh, they don't give much importance but a teacher by appearance may not be that extraordinary uh, cute looking but her relationship with the children her personal relation with the children her dignified look the way she look at each child with affection if she has uh, an an impartial and unbiased very important if she has a passion for teaching see the child a teacher becomes the favorite if the child can gain can retain can understand can uh, as if can um, uh, grasp whatever the knowledge whether it is any subject whatever be the knowledge if the child can understand if the teacher knows the level of the child whether the child can uh, intake or understand 
maybe 50%, 60%, 70%, isn't it? So the, the teacher should have a very personal relationship to know the weaknesses and strengths. Every child has its own weaknesses and strengths. The teacher should find out what are the strengths in each child, what are the weaknesses in child. Accordingly, she has to tackle with the child. She should know the cognitive level of students. If she uses innovative strategies and if she can create a win-win experience, that is more important. Next. Next, please. Yeah. A member of a child will remember a teacher throughout his life if she or he could build that child on its strength and not obsessed with weaknesses that's very important for a teacher next please in the picture you see okay next next please i always compare a teacher now here in the picture you see an engineer working on the machine and an architect I always compare a teacher with an architect or an engineer. Yes, Mercy have raised hands. Monique, Kunipali and Mercy raised. Yes, you want to ask anything? You have any something to ask, please? Can I? Move on. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, somebody raise the hands. Raise the hand, Mercy, and uh, is that they want to ask anything? Okay, the previous previous one, the previous one, please. The previous slide. Yeah. So. Here, I always compare a teacher with an engineer or an architect. A teacher is not dealing with the heavy machines like an engineer and an architect. But she should remember she is dealing with the delicate human mind. Whether it is small child, adult, or whichever level the student is. Next, next slide, please. I hope if you have any doubt, please, can you use the chat box? I can't hear you. Okay. Now the teacher should have the interpersonal skills. Verbal communication. Troubleshooting skills, work etiquette, good listener, self-confidence, coping with pressure, very important, time management, very important, empathy, very important, positive approach to criticism, very important. And she should be good in team play. Next, please. Next, please. Can you hear me? Next one. Here we see a teacher dealing with the students. He's so patient. She has got a good communication skill. You can see the children asking doubts. She got a good uh, language skill. Eye to eye contact skill, interpersonal skill. In she's inspiring the students level of learning. Moral values, values of life, motivating, never criticize, very important, enthusiastic teacher, listening skills, and makes a win-win experience. Next. Next, please. Is it audible too? Can you hear me? 
Okay. Perfect, ma'am. Perfect. Perfect okay. communication. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Now, how to develop confidence in students? Structure and support. That is, selecting the objective at the correct level of difficulty. The content or the level of learning desire should be clear. She should stick to one objective at a time. Using principles of learning. She should use the principles of learning that is coming in the next slide. Monitoring learning and adjusting teaching to elicit relevant overt behavior. Next, please. Now I'm going to explain in detail the structure and support, the essential elements of structure and support. One, selecting the objective at the correct level of difficulty. That is the content or the level of learning design should be clear. One, very important. Teaching to an objective, that is stick to one objective at a time and make it very clear explain it in very clearly to the student using principles of learning monitoring learning and adjusting teaching to elicit relevant overt behavior that is you have to check in between through visible actions or behavior then Continuous feedback, you should give continuous feedback at regular intervals, maybe through sign, what is sign and signal, to check their level of understanding from, you, you see from, you try to understand from their facial expressions, body language or behavior. Next is brief written. Write the answers in brief or sampling volunteers and random selection. That is to check how much could they retain. Whatever the teacher has taught in the class, the teacher should monitor the learning. That is, she should give continuous feedback at regular intervals. Checking how much they could understand. Please, the previous one, don't change. The previous one, please. The previous one. Yes. Then, uh, signal and symbol, brief written, then sampling, volunteer, and random selection. To check how much could they retain, the teacher should ask questions to a few students, either allow them to volunteer, or the teacher should ask questions at random from the four corners of the class to check if they have, if they can perform 60%, 70%, or 80% accuracy or without error. Next. Next, please. Now, the principles of learning. There should be active mental participation both covert and overt giving positive reinforcement and trying to give the reflection to next please i hope you understood covert the difference between covert and overt you all know it you are professors isn't it okay now again i'm going to tell you in detail, six characters, how we should motivate, how a teacher should motivate the student. There should not be a chance for a child to say, I can't do it, ma'am. I can't do it. No. Everybody should say, yes, I have done it. I can do it. The confidence. And how to develop that type of confidence in a child in a student. One, you're feeling torn. To establish and maintain 
social and psychological environment very important first of all you should establish and maintain social and psychological environment two level of concern you should understand you should find out you should have a personal relationship with the child to understand the acceptable level of performance you should know you should study the child and understand whether the child can perform the task at 70% or 80% accuracy or without error very important interest you should create interest through innovative activities this is another way of getting the full attention of the whole class towards the teacher she should know how to uh, create innovative activities in the class then success the child feels success if the teacher gives continuous feedback at regular intervals giving positive reinforcement with positive reinforcement that is provide the meaning provide models provide practice hence make the experience positive knowledge that is the impact on the mind of the child the teacher should know what exactly i want to impart today in the class to my students so could i attain my goal could i make an impact on the mind of the child that yes i can do it could i make the child confident yes i can do it so and make the child confident in solving problems i hope you agree with me you may put in your chat okay okay <clears throat> now who do you want to be here you see in picture two teachers thank you thank you very good you see two pictures one a teacher happy satisfied a confident he knows yes my students i could do maximum for my students they have gained they have retained what i taught a win win experience my i am happy i enjoyed my class <clears throat> i enjoyed my teaching and my students enjoyed learning <clears throat> you see the second picture it shows win lose she and she has done her level best she is also a sincere teacher but she could not make the child retain without retain the knowledge and apply the knowledge that she has got given and she tried later and she finding it that the child can the child say i can do it sometimes the teacher i sometimes because i conducted so many workshops so sometimes the teachers used to tell me <clears throat> ma'am i try my best i explain again and again and again but the child cannot do it what can i do i tell you if you it's not that simply sometimes you will be just talking to the wall first you should make the child interested in your class that you should find out how can i through your personal relationship with the child and i have explained to you so either it is the teacher to decide whether to build on the child strength or obsess with the child's weaknesses okay so you decide whether to be a teacher experiencing win win or win lose next please next set, next slide yes <clears throat> here you see two pictures one 
tree with full of green leaves and fruits and giving shade, isn't it? Here, an another picture you see, an ugly looking, dry, tall, but ugly looking tree without any leaf or any fruit. Only vultures take rest in that. Here, the first tree with full of fruits and leaves. Why? Why this difference here? Because the first one is has got proper nourishment. The second one couldn't get proper nourishment. The first one, it got, uh, uh, that tree, when it was small, <clears throat> was nourished properly. And... With the nourishment and the environment helped the tree to grow like this and to become a shelter both for the birds and for the human beings. Isn't it? And giving fruits to birds and as well as the human being. Here in the second one, it's, it, it, it got nourishment only for to grow isn't it so if we compare i want to compare what i want to show this picture is if a child is lucky enough to get proper nourishment when i say the nourishment for a student a child is is food for the body to make the child physically fit Food for the brain, for the child, to make the child academically competent, intellectually well-trained, and morally upright. And as the tree needs good environment like rain and sunlight, etc., the child also, if the child is getting proper, healthy environment, if it grows in proper, healthy environment, then that will help the child to become socially committed and spiritually inspired. Then only the child becomes a blessing to the uh, society. Whereas the other child we find, as we hear all the doing all unhealthy uh, activities, unhealthy situations, unhealthy companion, you know, so why it is so that child it is not the fault of the child i'll never blame the child it is the fault of the parent and the teacher and the society here the child unfortunate who is unfortunate to get there are nourishment like the child is getting food for body because the parent was so particular that my son or my daughter should be healthy, healthy. So they give food for the body. But they never realized, along with the food for the body, I should give proper food for the brain too. Never given. So then again, the environment in which the child is growing, maybe the house at home, unhealthy uh, you know, situations at home or maybe neighborhood or whatever it is. The child is not getting the proper environment. So the child doesn't know what is social commitment. The child doesn't know what is the spiritual, spirituality. So how can a child to grow like the other child who is a blessing? So what happens is such children who are unfortunate to get proper food for the body as well as for the brain and good environment, slowly they become disappointed and they get involved in some unhealthy companion or unhealthy uh, situations for the temporary benefit, relief, temporary relief. So slowly, slowly they become disappointed and do unhealthy 
uh, activities, actions, and becomes a nuisance to the society and makes the society sad. Thank you. I think with this, we have, this is the impact of a teacher. If the teacher is excellent, then she can bring up the child in this way as a blessing for the society or a nuisance to the society. Thank you. Any Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Ma'am, actually, uh, ma'am, you have showed, teached, and proved how excitedly uh, the destiny of a child lies in the hands of a teacher. Um, the, the examples you have quoted in the light of your experience, that is your personal experience, made this section really wonderful and highly informative. Um, it's not the appearance uh, make a teacher a dignified person, but with her character, uh, win-win experience, unbiased nature and uh, motivation, building confidence, and, and so on. So uh, precisely we can say that uh, true teachers use themselves as bridges over which they invite their students to cross, having facilitated their crossing joyfully collapse, encouraging them to create bridges of their own. Exactly. So that's what uh, that's what the information that was the the idea or just that I have we have got from your uh, section, ma'am. It's really a wonderful section. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much.